coronary artery disease is our um, number one health problem in the United States uh, because our population is aging and arteriosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, is very, very common. And as we all know, um, many of these patients can be treated without surgery. And we have a very, very good interventional cardiology team that t treats these patients with diagnostic cardiac catheterizations, uh, coronary stenting, and a host of other type of catheter-related interventions that will keep the patients out of the operating room. If they cannot be treated with catheter-based catheter therapy, then we recommend coronary bypass surgery to them. And what's unique about our program is that we're uh, one of approximately 15% of centers in the United States that are able to provide coronary bypass surgery without ever having to stop the patient's heart. Um, we get exceptionally good results with this approach. It has clear advantages, particularly for the high-risk patients. If it's good for high-risk patients, it's good for low-risk patients and other patients, and that's why we've employed that. The patients are not subjected to the, what we refer to as non-physiologic circulation of the heart-lung machine, so their recovery is just a little easier for them. At our hospital, two, four, six, eight hours after the operation, they're out of bed in a chair instead of being weaned off a ventilator. It's a tremendous advantage for their recovery. That is, we know that the longer patients are on a ventilator, the higher their risk is. And if our patients aren't on the ventilator at all, it reduces their risk. It's also very good for patient satisfaction because they're awake when they come out of the operating room. They know they did okay. They can talk to us. They can talk to their family. And in a few hours, they can get out of bed. And that happens in nearly 70% of patients that have open heart surgery.